Time to do another quick look video, and I thought I would do it from Isaiah, the very first chapter, verses 19 and 20, and the word of God reads this way. If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. But if you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured by the sword. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. This past Lord's Day, one of my pastors preached on Isaiah 1. He preached from verse 1 all the way to verse 20. It was an awesome message. And because of the message being so good and touching me in such, in so many ways, I thought I would do a quick look on two of the verses, 19 and 20. In chapter 1, the prophet Isaiah is going to Judah and basically telling them and warning them about their wickedness. And the first part of this chapter really talks about that. But when you get to verse 19 and 20, you have the crux of what God not only expects from his people, but even from, you know, people outside of the nation of Israel. And even today, as Christians, we can tell unrepentant sinners the truths of this verse, or of these two verses. Verse 19 says, if you are willing and obedient. Now notice God says, if you are actually willing to do what I say, willing to hear my word and um, demonstrate that you love me by just doing what my word says. That's why it says, if you are willing and obedient, notice the outcome. You shall eat the good of the land. God was always promising blessings to Israel if they were just obedient. It just goes hand in hand. It's, it, it's as natural as gravity. If I step off a building, gravity is going to pull me down. Well, if you're willing and obedient to trust the Lord and follow the Lord, they were going to eat the good of the land. But the contrast comes in verse 20. But if you refuse and rebel, notice that. If they refuse to obey and listen to God's word and they rebel, because when you refuse, you're rebellious. It says you shall be devoured by the sword. So God was promising that they were going to be devoured, that, that calamity was going to come. They could literally be killed if they refused and they rebelled. And at the end of verse 20, it says, For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. These words come straight from the Lord. He may be speaking through a prophet, and he speaks to so many people today through his word. But many times people don't understand that it's really coming from the Lord. It's not man-made stuff. The Lord is warning sinners like he was warning Judah that they need to do what? Be willing and be obedient and not refuse and rebel. Dear Christian, this goes for us today. If you're a believer in Jesus Christ, you need to be willing and obedient. There's going to be blessings that are going to come. Now, not the exact same blessings in the theocratic rule of Israel, but you're still going to be blessed in many ways. But if you refuse and rebel, you know what? It could lead to all kinds of calamities, and it could even lead to your death as a Christian. But this also pertains to the unbeliever. They need to trust the Lord Jesus Christ and repent in faith. They need to be willing and obedient. And you know what? They will be blessed as well. But if they refuse and continue to rebel like they do, one day they're going to die and stand before their creator and they're going to be judged for their wickedness, their wretchedness. They're going to be judged for their sins. So this is Isaiah chapter 1 verses 19 and 20. I just wanted to do a quick look to remind you, Christian, that there is a hardcore black and white truth from God. God wants people to obey him. God is their creator and God is their sustainer. And everyone is born sinful. You know, Romans 3.23, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So everybody actually needs to repent and believe because everybody does what? They refuse and rebel. But if they are willing to be obedient, willing to hear the gospel and obey it, and only the Holy Spirit's going to prick their hearts to do that, but they still need to what? They still need to be willing and obedient with that changed heart to trust the Lord. And to be honest with you, once God changes that heart, you will do it. But you know what? It's every sinner's responsibility to do what? To be willing and obedient and not to refuse and rebel. As always, if the videos on this channel have encouraged your Christian walk and edified you in any way whatsoever, 
but you have not subscribed to my channel yet and you want to, hit the button. If you want to leave any comments, please do so, but please don't be snarky. Please do not be profane. We want to be Christ-like in everything we say and do. And until we do another quick look, remember, as believers in Jesus Christ, we want to obey the word of God. We don't want to sin. The Lord can forgive us for our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And that's so true. But we want to avoid it because with obedience comes blessings. With rebellion comes all kinds of calamities. Unbelievers are going to find that out on the day of judgment. But we need to give the glorious gospel and tell them to be willing to obey that gospel and not to refuse and rebel. This pertained to Judah back then. Guess what? There's the same dynamic today, and we need to tell sinners about it so that they may be saved by the Lord Jesus Christ through the glorious gospel. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching, and God bless.